All right, bug, 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 bug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello everybody. My name is Zik3. Um, beside me are my beautiful commentators, Nali Q and Skate Man. And uh, this is a bug's life. This is you're witnessing GDQ history, a bug's life in GDQ. It's been years in the making. All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna jump right into it. We will start whenever we select Ant Hill. So let's go in three, two, one, go. <clears throat> all right, so we're gonna skip all the movie scenes so we don't get copyright striked by Disney. Uh, <laughs> so this is a bug's life. Uh, we're gonna play as Flick here and run and jump through the events of the movie. Um, we don't have to, we, so our controllers are basically we can run, we can jump, and we can throw berries at things and we can butt stomp. Um, you're gonna hear him yell, oh yeah, oh, yeah. a lot. <laughs> Please give me your best, oh yeahs, because we're gonna hear it a lot. <laughs> so we're playing on the PS1 version of the game. Uh, there were three releases, well, four, well. So <laughs> there's a PS1 version, there's the N64 version, there's the PC version, and then there's a Game Boy version, and then there's a bootleg version for the Sega Genesis, which is just the Game Boy version on a Sega Genesis cart. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're playing on the PS1 version. It's the one that's nostalgic to me, and uh, I think one of the best versions of it. Um, so we're here in Tunnels. Tunnels is pretty straightforward. We just want to run to the end. This level's a lot more whenever um, you're doing like 100% or something. <clears throat> but when you're just doing any percent, you're just running in a straight line. Uh, we're just going to avoid everything, and we're going to be doing jumps on these walls. We're just going to be trying to cut corners as best we can. Let's see if I can... Oh, let's go, mushroom jump. Hey. Nice. Um, all right, so grasshoppers and rocks are going to fall from the ceiling. I'm um, just going to be... The rocks are random. I'm just going to hope I don't get hit. <clears throat> but... um. Yeah, this is a, this is one of the speed. This is one of my favorite speed runs of all time. Uh, terrible casual playthrough. <laughs> Not a fan of the controls. I can attest to that. I just <laughs> did that a month ago. <laughs> I keep saying because like I'm playing on this PS3 controller right now, and it's uh, is not good. And I always say the worse controller, the better this game feels. <laughs> so this is Thumper. Um, yeah. You get some beautiful uh, Thumper ASMR going here. You're gonna get the Super Berry. Four, six, seven, eight. All right, so you hit him eight times. He's going to go into the air. I've lost him. There he is. And then we'll finish him off. There we go. Nice. So you'll notice a lot. I'm going to pause and exit level. Um, once you've, like, achieved the goal of the level, whether you get to the end, you kill the boss, you don't need to watch, like, the ending cutscene. You can then exit at that point. So this is the level that if you played this game as a kid, you probably remember and possibly were scared of. If you touch the ground, there's a bird and it will eat you. Um, this is definitely as far as I ever made it as a kid. I don't see how any child was supposed to beat this game. <clears throat> but we're just gonna float up with the little dandelion here and then clear the spike plant and now the bird can't get us. So we're just running to the end. Um, we're, so, there's not a whole lot to this level, but we're going to be getting to another level. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, this is Riverbed Canyon. This is the most infamous trick of the run. <clears throat> so, this is supposed to be a big maze. You're supposed to find a lot of tokens, which, like, increase your seed powers. So, you can see in the bottom right, we've got a mushroom. You can get orange tokens to make the mushroom bigger. You can get green tokens to get a leaf. We're going to be trying to do this in as nice in as few power ups as possible, um, and that will require some pretty annoying tricks here in a couple minutes. Um, so while I run to that spot with like one quick donation or two, yeah, of course you got some love coming in, Zik. We have $100 from Zanado, Zando Toaster saying good luck to Zick on just picking up grain here. <laughs> One more? Sure. 
All right. We have $15 from uh, Lex Levels, they say. Whoever thought we'd see the day? Bug game, <laughs> GDQ. So proud that you made it happen. Good luck uh, and get that great and grain grain. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Yeah, it's no exaggeration that I've been submitting this game for like four years now. <laughs> um, it's been a long time coming with this silly little PS1 game. <clears throat> So as you can see, we're using these seeds with the power-ups to kind of get into different areas. Um, and you'll notice I use the butt stomp a lot. And it helps, you'll notice like when he butt stomps, Flick like tucks his legs up into the air. That, um, that kind of helps you get on top of things that might be too tall for you to get up to. Um, it also can be used to like preserve your momentum. So this is a wall and uh, this trick is completely random. There's no rhyme or reason to this trick. Um, we buff, we try and buffer a jump off the mushroom and then hope that we can jump off of whatever weird geometry is here on this wall. There we go. Yeah, All right, cool. nice. That was pretty good. That's the worst trick of the run. <laughs> <laughs> You're normally supposed to go get like a bigger leaf token and grow it and do do do, but it's like a 15, 20 second detour to get that leaf, so you can do that, but I would never recommend anybody to do that until you, like, you want to go for like world record because it's miserable. So we have another boss here as a bird. So we have to climb to the top to get the super berry. Um, I didn't really talk about that. So we have a berry throw. Right now it's red. Uh, red berries can only kill like simple bugs. Uh, the super berry kills the uh, more like armored bugs in your bosses like the bird. So we just throw a bunch of super berries at the bird and leave. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, city entrance. So this level, we're now, we are in the city. This song is a banger. This whole soundtrack is way better than it has any right to be. Okay, cool. Um, so we need to pick up grain. Grain, grain, grain. Uh, every enemy drops grain, and there are little, like, threshold doors throughout the uh, <clears throat> level. You need 10 grain, 20 grain. Um, so I need to at least get 20 grains. So I'm gonna be doing a specific little pathing path here to kill bugs as quickly as possible. There's a lot of kind of RNG in this level because like the bugs move on kind of like a pathing path and that can be random. So you're hoping that the bugs are close to you when you get to them, but sometimes they can be off on a pilgrimage to Xanarkand or something. <clears throat> All right, so we have that. Uh, there's a taxi bug here. Let's see, oh, oh the goop. The goop. Um, yeah, you can like jump off the goop to take no damage, but it's hard. Um, we're just gonna kill this guy. So there is a 30 grain door here. We're not gonna get 30 grain. Oh, <clears throat> thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this, this is the level that I feel like starts to get people when you first like casually play through the game. Especially if you're trying to do like 100%. Oh, it's awful. Um, so we jump the goop, we go over here. And so the 30 grain door is there. So we're gonna climb on this little geometry, some playing cards up here. And then we can use the butt stomp to tuck our legs up and over the door. And we're done. Where's Heimlich? Heimlich, come here, thank you. <clears throat> as much as I'd love to hear them talk. We'll get more of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, the good 6 a.m. energy. The best <laughs> game of the mayor for GDQ history. All right. Uh, so City Square. Um, we need to find uh, the four bug friends to get our army. Um, the icons at the top tell us who we need to see. And whenever I exit this, look at Tuck and Roll. They've, they've seen some stuff. <laughs> they have seen things um, so when you hit these bugs they all like talk to you and give you a little line but if you just pause the game when the voice line starts it just skips the line okay I just have to listen for the cue when they start and yeah you can just make those cutscenes shorter by just pausing and pausing the game <clears throat> uh, there's a little up to Manny here don't know how that works. <laughs> uh, that that's. Hang on. Yep. yep. Yes. All right. That's kind of a running thing of this game. Is there are tricks 
I don't know how they work. <laughs> Some of them are just magic. And there's Rosie. And once we talk to our last one, we can just exit as normal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, bug bar. Next boss fight. Uh, so this actually has a neat little trick to it. Uh, we got to defeat Thud. So I'm going to jump, 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 and then nice. Okay, that's the quicker way to get the gold berry. You're supposed to, like, hit this ball over and bounce up, but you can kind of, with an extended, like, butt stomp, get the gold berry early, and then we're just going to bully him. Yep, back and forth we go. <clears throat> we want to try and get the throws off as quick as possible while trying not to die off of all these rolling objects. I'll wait on that, yeah. Okay, one more hit. So the gold berry does the exact same damage as like a super berry. The only difference is, is you get the gold token, which is 100% stuff. <clears throat> All right, Clover Forest. All right, we got another, we got another banger. This <clears throat> Clover Forest can be a tough level. We have to find the five parts of the bird. I'm gonna try a little skip here. Ah, I missed it. Okay, we'll do the backup. We'll do the backup. There we go. Climbing up walls. I still don't know how you climb up walls. Uh, we're gonna do a little skip here. Maybe, oh, let me reset. Okay, cool. So if you are uh, remotely familiar with like Spyro speedruns, that's like Nestor skip, where you like jump as you hit the thing and you can skip the cutscene. So this game's pretty much just like Spyro the Dragon. <clears throat> I see no difference. <laughs> Basically the same. Uh, but yeah, Skate, you just recently played through this game. You got pretty stuck on this level, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I should have read the manual. <laughs> <laughs> the manual actually, like, there's magic in that manual. Yeah. I only learned within the last year that there is a kick strat in the... the <laughs> you, can, you can kick. I never knew that. Until I saw, like, a reroute of City Entrance, and I'm like, why does that fly just die? He doesn't throw anything. And I'm reading the instruction manual. Oh my god, there's a control I never knew existed. So we're upgrading our orange token um, to a dandelion plant, and now it's a cannon plant. So we're gonna, oh, we're gonna uproot that. Oh, butt stomp, too. butt stomp. we do that and then we save one specific piece for last because once we get the last piece we can exit level and this one has a long cutscene attached to it you're supposed to talk to the ladybug and uh this oh my god get the plant and the stick bug to get it down for you but we can we can cannon plant into it and then just exit the level instead of watching the uh instead of watching the cutscene oh the tree okay tree 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 so we're gonna have a little bit of downtime here. Um, there's little cutscenes here that we can't skip. So first we need to get up the tree. So we're gonna come up over here and there's a big root and we're just gonna run up the side of the root like a Skyrim horse. Yep, get up there, get up there. Yeah, all right, we're on the tree. <clears throat> so they, we have to get these five blueberry scouts and every single one has this. I could use your help. Here we go! <laughs> Dim give Ant a lift. A lift. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Love it. <clears throat> so there are acorns rolling down the tree. There are mosquitoes around. Um, and we're just going to try and stick to the inner ring as much as possible and go up the tree. Um, I would say if you have a donation or two, this is probably the best level in the game to do them. Great. I love donations, and I know everybody else does because they are coming in. Real quick, I just wanted to give you an update on that Recruit Barkley the Dog incentive for Cassette Beats coming up later in this morning. Right now we are at $2,933 out of the $3,000 we need. Any one of you could go ahead and donate towards that, get that finished, and we can move on to our next incentive. We have a few coming in for that. Uh, we have $100 from Cute and Cuddly 2 that says, let's make sure Barkley the dog gets to come along. And we have $25 from Lunchbox Hyena that says, if the dog can be pet, it must be pet. Vote Barkley. Okay, that was... I always call that spooky jump. I don't... I always feel like I'm just going to fall off the tree doing that jump. 
One of my favorite things about the tree that I saw recently, because I was very invested in uh, watching Skate Man do a, I somehow scammed him into doing a playthrough of this game. <laughs> and uh, he gets to the top of the tree and goes like, oh man, I missed a blueberry scout, I guess. He's like, I'll just jump down to the ground and just climb the tree back up and see where it is. Just takes like a YOLO leap of faith off the tree and just lands like right on the head of the blueberry he missed. I was like, what are the odds? Yeah, I <laughs> I don't know if any other human has ever done that before. <laughs> that was just so random. Oh, oh, I wish these scenes were skippable. It's literally a minute of a run. All right, that's our last scout. So we get the bird. There we go. <clears throat> we talk the dot and leave. All right, it's time. Oh yeah, it's time for a fight. We got molt. Um, all right, so we need to grow a super berry. Oh, okay. Game lags really hard there. Uh, we need to grow a super berry because only the super berries will hurt molt. And for some reason, our ant friends are going to give us red berries, which don't do anything. So they are actively like harming us. You know, they're doing their best out there. <laughs> I want to see if I can get this. Uh, where's where's molt? There's molt. If I can get in a position. There it's, yeah, there he is. There's one dude, look at him creeping out there between the leaves. Oh my God. Just a single 2D ant watching us. This is a horror game right here. <laughs> so we stand in this specific spot because there's a leaf over our head here. So it's kind of like an umbrella catching the red berries for us. And goodbye. <laughs> He's just so casual. He's like, ow. That's not nice. <laughs> no fear. All right. This, and Hell Part 2, this is the level with the like, highest amount of RNG in it. <clears throat> so we need to save Ada from Hopper. Oh, okay. A little bit of lag. So first, I need those green tokens. I'm amazed I got that. That's a horrible mechanic. Um, okay. I need one more green. So you're supposed to grow, you'll hear, Flick will tell us, we need to grow a berry shooter. Um, you're supposed to grow like a really tall berry shooter and then it like hits Hopper out of the sky. We're gonna try and, we will do it uh, with the small berry shooter, which leads to the little bit of RNG because there's, because it's the small berry shooter, we're only gonna be able to hit Hopper in certain spots. So we're kind of just like, boy, I hope he flies in the spot I need him to. Okay, let's get this. We're gonna get this. We're gonna climb Pride Rock here. Doo -doo -doo. There he is up there. So you'll see, we'll see how this goes. Uh, get as close as we can. Where's he at? Oh, it's so good. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, wow. The first two shots are the hard ones. We got it. That was easy. This, could, this would never happen on a PB run. <laughs> Please don't miss. It's working. Yep. Yep. He'll teach us. Love that, like, first person view. <laughs> it's just, you can kind of get a good aim yeah. with it. The best way to handle that is to, like, you know, camera manip it. <clears throat> All right. Out of flight. This, um, this is the level I'm like, no child would have beaten this game, I swear. We are just flying through this area. When we grab grain, we go, like, super speed. So I'm going to be trying to grab every grain to go as fast as we can. It, every, I cannot stress enough that every little pebble, leaf, weird geometry, everything on the ground has a hitbox. So you have to really like, oh, like I hit that rock a little bit. So you have to really um, be in the, but you don't move super fast in the air. So you like want to be in the air as little as possible while still like avoiding obstacles. Hopper is chasing us. And because of the way his like pathing algorithm is, is like he's just hunting us. Sometimes he can hit you and then just get in front of you, and then you're just you're dead. You can't get past Hopper. So we're gonna get some more green, 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 green. All right, do and up. Uh huh. All right, we'll stick our head through a couple of those branches. Oh, cool. The bee's in a good spot. Oh, okay, nice. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. And, shocker, we are already at the final boss. This is Canyon Showdown. Eliminate Hopper, save the colony. 
Okay, so we're gonna do a skip right off the start here. Let's go up, up, up and jump. Nice, all right, yeah. no coward, I'm doing stick jump. <clears throat> Get the super berry and away we go. Um, so Hopper's broken up into three phases. Here's our first phase where we just have to assault him with super berries so he moves on. You'll notice his health isn't going down. I never realized how like not great that is until I was watching Skate to his casual playthrough. And he gets the super, he's doing it all right. He throws like four berries at Hopper. He's like, oh, I'm not doing damage. I guess I need to do something different. I was like watching, seething, like just, just, just throw a couple more at him. You got it. And proceed to waste 15 minutes doing yes. nothing. <laughs> oh, okay, there he is. He's way out there. Did we get him? Yeah, we got him. All right, yeah, so phase two, he's um, just flying between specific, oh jeez, oh jeez, hang on, let's, okay. Um, he's flying between specific points that we just need to kind of meet him at and throw a berry at him. So there, and then here. And then the third phase, we need to chase him up the uh, riverbed to the bird nest at the top where he will um, die a very gruesome death. <laughs> um, let's go up, up. Do you have like one quick donation? We could do it as we climb the riverbed. Yeah, you've got more love coming in for your run. We have $250 from Vin VHD. It says Bug Hypes. Shout out to Zig for f showing off this gym of game and to whoever wrote the city theme. <laughs> it goes so hard. <laughs> oh, a little early, there we go. Go and say, there it is. We are mindless soil sucking losers. All right, so this is the burden. Time's going to be coming up when the screen fades to black. So, right. Time. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> there he goes. Hopper's gone. <clears throat> we will. Uh... All right. And we have game complete. <laughs> We've done it. <clears throat> Oh man, all right. Uh, <laughs> thank you uh, everyone for letting me show off this speed run. This speed run's been, uh, it's been a lot to me. I've been playing, I've been speed running this game for years. I've been trying to get into marathons for years and uh, shout out to John Burton for making this gem of a game. And uh, yeah, if you ever wanna check it out, it's a really fun speed run. Uh, it's a really goofy game. I love it. And um, yeah, so that's all I have. Won't be the last time you see me this week, so. Uh, I will hopefully see everybody again soon and enjoy the rest of the marathon.